It's time for the lightning round, which is brought to you by Turner Construction. Turner Construction is doing a bang up job in the Omaha building community. That's a great job. That is a very good job. And uh, big, big, big projects like the Sarpy County Data Center and little projects like interior finishes and retail build outs and office renovations and everything in between. So we, we strongly recommend Turner Construction if you're looking for a contractor. And then also we, we know a lot of people who listen to the show work in the trades uh, or maybe are interested in working in the trades. And I just want to tell you, check out Turner. Uh, People who work there love it. They enjoy it. Uh, They've been growing in the area. I've got a new office um, that they moved into earlier this year. And um, people are just making a difference there and enjoying having a a good time doing it. So thanks to Turner Construction for bringing this to you. Well, let's get right into it. Tupelo Honey Southern Kitchen and Bar plans to open its first Nebraska location next year in downtown Omaha. We don't have an exact site picked. I I called the Tupelo Honey Southern Kitchen and Bar office in Asheville, North Carolina. They said they're very excited to be in Omaha. It's going to be downtown. They're just not quite ready to give me an address. They I, cur- I think it's above three Tupelo. Three Tupelo. They currently have 18 locations in 11 states. And uh, the cuisine is Carolina Mountain Style Southern Fare, which uh, might be a little bit different than just Isn't Southern Tupelo Fare. Tupelo from Mississippi. Is there another? Well, Tupelo is pr- where Elvis was from. Was yeah, born in Northern Mississippi, but Tupelo might be a bigger name than just that. It yeah, might be a bigger word than just that. They have existing locations nearby in Des Moines, Iowa, and in Denver. Sicky's Garage Burgers and Brews opened Sounds yesterday. Delicious next to P.F. Chang's and Cheesecake Factory. Not yesterday, uh, Wednesday. It's been like three or four different things. Yeah, it was uh, Joe's Crab Shack at one time. It was Macaroni Grill at that one time. That was the first thing. Yeah. Macaroni it, and Grill. And then it was that like Hooters like place. It was Brick the, something. Brick House. Yeah. It was short lived. Yeah. Yeah. I I always thought Joe's Crab Shack was a fun place to go. You'd only go there once a year maybe because you could you could get better seafood, but it was a fun place to Macaroni go. Macaroni Grill, they... Did, was it that or the Italian place that could write upside down? They they would write their the, the they had paper over the tablecloth. Probably macaroni grill. And they the the servers would write their name upside down. Yeah, I remember that. Trans. I remember that. So Trent, we've got a new Pickleman's at 168th and Harrison. Drive through second drive through. They're crushing it. Pickleman's Gourmet Cafe uh, opened uh, last week on the northwest corner of 168th and Harrison. Uh, Dragon Walk Express is now open at Nebraska Crossing in the renovated former Voodoo Taco Building. Don't worry, Voodoo's still there. They just moved to a different location. This is the same Dragon Walk company that is very beloved at 144th and Fort Street, second location for them. A sign of progress, literally a sign of progress. The Texas de Brazil Churrascaria uh, Brazilian Steakhouse uh, sign has gone up on the building at the Capitol District. Still looks like they've got a ways to go, though. It's about five years in the making, man. They've been talking about it forever. Well, that pandemic thing got in the middle of it. But um, um, if you are excited for the meat sweats, it's coming soon. Um, sweats. <laughs> Talk, Sounds delicious. People talk about the meat sweats all the time. If you eat too much Wear meat, you sweat. Wear your sweatpants. <laughs> but anyway, it's a Brazilian steakhouse, so go with a big appetite. And uh, it is scheduled to open later this fall. And then also a big sports bar there coming, Let It Fly. But let we don't, fly, we don't fly. know exactly when that's going to open for sure. Um, Home Goods plans to open a fourth metro area location at Shadow Lake Town Center in Papillion. They're getting a resurgence down there. A lot of stuff going on at Shadow Lake. Yeah. Um, in fact, uh, here's another new retailer in Shadow Lake, Skechers, plans to take over the former Pier 1 space at Shadow Lake Town Center. Um, Skechers, Skechers really has expanded in Omaha a lot. They just opened up one at 74th and Dodge earlier this yeah, year. Pier 1. Yeah, they're in... Um, they like Pier 1 import spaces. Nebraska Crossing. They're in Montclair Center at 132nd and Center. They're, they're all over the place. Kid Strong plans to open its first Nebraska location at L Street Marketplace, 122nd and L. Kid Strong is a physical fitness franchise for kids 11 years of age and younger. It's based in Texas. Um, They have stores in 27 states. The closest existing locations are in Kansas City and St. Louis. 
If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.